Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk a little bit more in depth on how we created the date picker. So I click there and uh, this is the date picker. You can see here I haven't blanked these out yet because I wanted you to see what happened whenever I click on this particular button. It says TBST date. There's a little label down here that normally would be hidden but I want to show you the inner, the inner workings of how this works. Um, the TBST date is the name of this text box that I want to affect in just a second. And the user form 2 is the name of this user form that I want to affect. So user form 2 uh, dot TBST date. So uh, that's basically what I want to show you. Um, and we'll show you how it works now. I'm going to kind of go over how it was built. I'm going to hit Alt F11. There's two user forms. The first one is called Cal. It's a calendar here. And you can scrunch it up to the very edge if you'd like so that people can't see that. Or you can uh, just hover over these two labels and make them invisible by taking the visibility and double clicking and making it false. So they wouldn't show up. But anyway, uh, what I've done here is let's start with the user form 2. That's the one where we want the dates to go into. So I took a pretty little picture that I got here by clicking on picture and clicking this button to browse for a nice little picture of a calendar. But that's a no whole nother video. Take a little button here. So the first button is called t uh, button ST date cal. I just named it that. So if you double click on that, the user form called CAL. That's what this one right here. So the first label uh, ends up being, we tell it to become TB end date and the user form 2. Um, let's see here. Oh, that was, no, sorry, the first one is the start date and the, the other button. This one right here tells it to, to make TB end date. And then it says calendar dot show. So show this user form right here. Now, how did we get this date picker thing in there? Did I design it from scratch? No, I thought about it, and then I found out you can do it uh, yourself. I'm going to show you how. Using this toolbox, normally you don't have this month view thing going on here, but you can right click and click on additional controls. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down and show you. Uh, where this one is there it is Microsoft month view control 6.0 um, so hopefully you have that one but dig for it for a second it's under Microsoft month view control and hit OK and now it'll add that little button to your thing to your uh, toolbox so click on that and uh, I guess you can maybe resize it I'm not sure I wouldn't no, okay, you can't. So it's always going to be that size. But with that, what you can do is you can uh, double click on it. Oops. So double click on it. And you have, uh, it's called month view one by default. I think I named mine something else. You have a date click. That's when they click on a date. A date double click. Or just a double click anywhere on there. And enter a get day bold. Um all kinds of things that you can mess around with with that. I'm going to take that one off and show you what I did with mine. So I'm going to delete this one here. So I named this one FCAL. So double click on there. So I did a loop here for each user form in VBA.userForms. Okay, you see that? We're looping through. If, if UF.name, so if the current user form we're looping through dot uh, dot name is the calendar forms uh, label UF so that would be this label right here that has uh, I think it says user form 2 whenever we click on that one button going back here if the user forms name is the same as the, tech, the little label there then we've got a match. and We're going to go to the next loop here. For each control in that particular user form dot controls. 
So if the CTL, if the controls dot name is, and then again here's another label that we laid out. If the controls name is the same as the label, which is you know, TB start date or something like that. So if those match, then that controls value equals whatever date they clicked. See, date clicked is the default thing that you can variables built in. So let's let's uh, loop through that really quickly, and that should clear everything up. Um, but anyway, if you want to, oops, if you want to mess around with this, I do have it available on my shared Dropbox link. It's at the it's in the description of this video. So please check that out. But we're going to go ahead and show you how it works first, so you can apply that to your user forms and your um, tools and things like this. So I'm going to double click here. Uh, no, I'll hit the green button here. So once I click on this, it's going. And when I click on a date here, it's going to run our macros. So let's use June 4th, 2013. I click there and it stops me right there for each user form and VBA dot user form. So the first one, if user form dot name equals user form two, and apparently it was. So for each control in user form two dot controls, basically. So the first control is called start date. Um, or the control dot name. Let's do the control dot name. If that is tbst date, it's not. So we'll go to the next control. Next one dot name is tb start date or whatever. So the control dot value. Let's take a look here. Let's take a peek. So that is this control right here that we are locked onto using the loop. Is now going to be date clicked, which is June fourth. So I hit that. Um, and now me.hide will take the current form which is this one here and hide it and then you're good actually we could be real clever and say go to ending or our exit sub let's just do exit sub whenever it whenever it says me.hide the next thing it'll do is exit the sub so you don't have to endure any more of that loop so, uh, and then we click on this one, same deal here. The, let's see, the label for the other, for the calendar thing is going to be TB end date. So it'll know to reference that. And the user form is going to still be user form 2. Show the calendar. Let's click on this date. So, found the user form right off the bat for each control. First one must be that label. Next one is probably, it is. TB end date, or no, it isn't. And there's the next label, and here's probably the user form now. One, two, three, and now we're four. Where is it? Maybe that was a button too. There, now we found it. Finally found the text box called TB end date, and now that controls dot value is date clicked. This is pretty dynamic. And exit the sub, and bam, it works. So that's how I rigged up the calendars to do their thing and uh, hopefully that will help some people but yeah it's pretty cool uh, you can click to the next month really fast if you click here on the year and you can go up and down the years like this and if you click on the month you can select whatever month you want it's very cool it's built by the brilliant people at Microsoft so I mean it actually is very cool it's very helpful um, so check that out I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have questions please punch your questions down in the comments section I'd be happy to help um, uh, please click like if you like this video click subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff otherwise you guys have a great day and God bless bye